All right, y'all, another day in the life. I'm at a tire shop trying to get the tire fixed for my truck. I found the jack and everything. Now I'm just trying to get everything fixed. Check out the tire. I had to put it in the car. <laughs> oh my goodness. I had to put the tire in the car. So I'm at this place called LMS. Unfortunate thing about it so far, the guy that was talking to me didn't really know too much English. So I'm going to try to figure out how to get past this barrier. Can somebody out there help me? How do you say the word? Can you help me fix my flat tire in Spanish? I need to know. Help me. Well, we're going to check out this tire. This tire right here. Gotcha. How much? Never. Sixty-five. Huh? I don't have no choice today. Wow! Look at that big old gash in your. Well, I was gonna show you guys the process of him taking off the old tire and putting on a new one. But my phone died and uh, I'm sitting in the car charging it. So I'm just thankful that everything is coming together. That um, it's funny, my neighbor told me that there was a jack in my uh, garage because uh, you know I told you that the man of God used to live in the house that I stayed and he was a mechanic. He worked on cars and motorcycles. And my neighbor was like, hey, you know, he had a jack in there, big jack. And I had never seen it, couldn't find it. Today I lifted up the garage and I guess because I was looking for it, I was able to find the jack, which was a big heavy duty one. And I was able to get the truck up, the SUV up, got the tire off. I don't know why I didn't film it. I wasn't thinking about it. Got the tire off and now I'm here at LMS uh, making it happen. About to get my truck back on the road today. It needs an alignment really bad. And uh, I think I need to take it to a place and let them align it now. Because normally when you bring it to a tire place, you know, they can give you a new tire and, and plus give you an alignment. But um, with my circumstances, I couldn't do that. So we'll see what's next. All right, y'all, I'm good to go. He had to change the tire. He got the wrong one the first time. So he got this one. Back at the car, huge. Thank God this got done. You know what, I'm gonna say this. I know a lot of people say in this area where I live is the hood. Um, and I get that. But the one thing I'm happy about is the fact that because of where I live, there are a lot of things like, you know, car places and things like that, that are like easily accessible. And, you know, I'm really thankful because this place right here LMS literally less than a half a mile from my house and so to be able to come over here and get this done I mean I haven't been here for 30 minutes I don't think and to be able to, to knock this out it's a blessing for me and um, you know a lot of little places like this you know have all these services right in my neighborhood bakery over here just all the small little hometown businesses and stuff like that and I'm just thankful um, for being in my neighborhood. Some wouldn't want to live over here, but it's a blessing to me. It's a blessing to me. So, that is another thing off the checklist. And now I have to go through the process of putting the tire back on, doing everything safely. So, y'all come hang out with me while I do that. Life of Pastor Antonio. Yeah. I wouldn't trade it for nobody else's life. That is for sure. I enjoy my life. I mean, the tire's so big, it's just hanging out the, the window. <laughs> like a passenger.
Let me show y'all what's going on here. I got this big old jack. And I also got those little guys under there to hold and make sure things is right. Got me a little stool. Gotta put the tire back on these guys. That's my job for the next 20 minutes or so. All right. First thing I gotta do, gotta make sure this tire is sitting on here properly. The jack is, is high enough for me to put the tire on. Based on what I see right now, it is not. always a good thing if you can take your tire to the shop I got it pretty close I think Lifted up just a tad, I believe. Yep. Just a tad. needs a little more space. Almost there. A little more room. Need to lift it up. On the jack here. A little more space. Close. I didn't go to the gym today. This is my gym workout, for sure. Oh yeah. There we 
we go. Here we go, bit. Yep. Back in bin. My dad taught me this stuff a long time ago. I haven't had to do this in so long, but I'm glad he did. Thank you, dad. Look at that beautiful blackness. Ooh. I love this stuff. I don't know why. I love getting dirty. Smelly, stinky. I know. Weird, huh? But I do. My battery really low on that phone. So I don't know how much time I got left. Just trying to hand tighten it. So whenever I let the car down, I'm not gonna really do a super tight job up here. You just wanna get it secure. I'll make sure everything's secure. I'm not going to tighten it up super tight. I just want enough to make sure it's on securely. Let me see if that's the right one. I just want to make sure that it's on securely. That's it. I'm going to tighten it up really tight once I get it on. I just want to make sure it's again there the right way. See that right there? That's not tight. Got first first phase done. Now I have to go drive the car and see if it still needs an alignment, which I know it does. But I'm gonna at least drive it around my block. Just in my neighborhoods. I don't have my tripod in here, so don't be screaming it. Yeah, it needs
space and alignment really bad. It's a place up the street that does it. Well, actually it doesn't. I thought it did. All along, I guess it was that tire. Thank you, Lord, for keeping me safe. Yep. I thought I needed such and It don't need an alignment, y'all. I thought it did. It doesn't. Wow. So that whole time, all that shaking in the car, it was a tire. God kept me safe on the highway, on the city roads, streets. Wow. I am thankful for that. Thank you, Jesus. Well, by changing that tire, I guess I saved about $200. <laughs> they would have had to make a house call, done all of that. So I'm thankful for God, to God. I feel like I had a great day. Like today's been like useful. I feel like I'm, I feel like a man. Arr, arr. Hey man, if you're out there and you're feeling a little bit too feminine, are you feeling a little too feminine today? Go out there and flatten your tire and change it. Don't take it to the shop. Do it yourself. Get some beautiful stuff on your hands. Grease it on your face if you need to. Thank you, Lord. And you know what's come out of this? I feel good. That's what come out of this. I feel great. Now I gotta go move all the stuff out of that little car back in here. And I need to take this car to the car wash. Let's do this. I love that sound. Oh, that sound I love. God, I go into the car wash for real. This car, this truck is filthy. I mean, just a week, and this looks. I made a mistake and left the windows down. We had a dust storm, and boy, this it's just dusty all over. But I gotta get the outside right. Do a little bit on the inside. Ooh wee. You know, I love what's happening right now. I love the fact that I got a chance to share, share with you guys what's been going on. You know, it's one thing to go through stuff in life and you just leave it, you just be like, forget it. But it's almost like this process with God with us. You know, stuff breaks down and what do you do? The process of being put back together, together again one little bit at a, one step at a time, right? One step at a time. You know, life is always gonna be filled with stuff. It's always gonna be filled with things that are either trying to break down, things that are breaking down, things that are going well. You can always have challenges. The thing is, what are we gonna do about the challenges? gonna cry <laughs> or are we gonna get up and say all right let me use what I got I could have just left this truck sitting in the driveway nothing wrong with it but the tire need to be changed and yeah it'd be overwhelming but it's amazing how something that could take a couple of days or a week ends up being a month then a month ends up being six months then all this time passes and we could have been healing all along it was right there at our fingertips so instead of complaining about the fact that the truck is messed up the truck is dirty I gotta get up and do something about it 
Nobody else is gonna do a thing about it. Nobody else is gonna do this for me. So I have to, I have to do it. Nobody else is gonna take care of your life for you. They're not gonna do it for you. People walk with you through your journey, but you have to make up your mind if you wanna be healed. You have to. I can share something with y'all, just in real life. I didn't really have the extra money to fix this tire. Somebody sent me the exact amount. I can show you guys the receipt and I can show you guys that 20 minutes earlier, somebody sent me the exact amount of money. I'm talking about to the penny that I needed to get this tire fixed. I didn't ask them the exact amount of money that I needed to get this tire fixed today was sent to me 20 minutes before I went looking for a place to get my tire fixed. Don't you tell me, don't you tell me that God won't look out for us. Don't you tell me that God will look out for you and me. Even when you don't think he's paying attention, God's paying attention. He really is paying attention. The master's got something. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Do I enter this way or that way? I can go around this way? Okay. Thank you. Almost passed up the garage, I mean a uh, car wash, y'all. <laughs> I was thinking of another car wash on the other side of town. This one right here. What I need, y'all want? Y'all ready to go on this car wash with me? What's up, man? Hey, hey, bro. I just want to get the good one time. Good one time? Please. Yeah. Free dust right? Huh? Free dust right? Okay. Right? Appreciate dash you. Right? I pay you cash or car? Which one? Um, we take both. Okay. Cash and car as well. Five, six, seven, eight. I got the cash right here. Okay. It's going to be $9.99, please. You said $9.99? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Almost exact change. Anything else, Frank? That's it, my man. Well Appreciate I'm you. Ready. All right. All right. Get this car wash started. I'm gonna change this uh this deal here so y'all can see what's going on. For those of you guys who love car washes like me, hold on.
done, y'all. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free in there. <coughs> <coughs> Free at last. Oh my goodness. Whew. It's a hundred degrees out here. And I'm outside washing my car. Uh that don't make no sense. What am I doing? A hundred degrees. Well, I guess that is gonna end this episode of what am I doing outside? <laughs> Thank y'all for hanging out with me in a day in the life. This is fun. I'm funky. And I like it. I'm going to go over here to Walmart. Give me something to drink and some ice. I'm going to call it a day. Thanks for hanging with me, everybody. Y'all have a great day. Peace. My girl wants to party all the time, party all the time, party all the time.